Hello guys, Salman Nasim here. Welcome to the third video of Blender animation for the beginner series. Today we will see the basic of rigging, ultra basic of rigging, how to apply it on anything and how does it work. So without wasting further time, let's get started. So in the start we have the cube and what we'll do, we'll uh, we'll press the S key and the Z uh, and scale it little bit. Now we'll press Shift A and add the armature, the basic armature. We have the armature over here. If you can see, if we move the uh, if we move our cube, we have the armature, single bone armature over here. That is a single bone. But uh, what we need, we'll uh, just scale the rig or the armature a little bit to understand it much better way. We'll bring our cube to the previous position, and we'll go we'll go for this uh, viewport display and check the in front. So we'll, we have uh, the visibility of our armature in our object mode. We'll go in edit mode of our bone or first one by clicking the tab key. Our bone have two things. One is a tail and one is hat the tail and the uh, head both are scalable uh, we'll go for uh, will i'll press the tab key again and bring the armature bring the first one uh, in the middle so what what we'll do by going to the tab key we'll extrude the bone from the tail by clicking e the extrude key uh, that will come in that way and lock it on the z axis We'll uh, make it a little bit bigger like that and the another one very small one and we'll lock lock it again by clicking the Z key. Uh, on the upper side we'll select the head and press the E again and uh, lock it on a Z axis again extrude lock it Z axis and lastly again Z so that's it. Now we have the bones which have the same size as our cube. Uh, now we'll go, we'll uh, uh, select the cube first and select the armature. Press Ctrl P and select the automatic weight. Select our cube and go for weight paint. You, we can see that our cube have the weight. That's mean we can animate it. And we'll bring back to the object mode. Select the bones, go to pose mode from here and we'll try to animate it but our cube is behaving very weirdly with the rig that is because our cube does not have any geometry within it to respond on the animation so we'll go to object mode again select the cube and go to the tab key select control of control r for the loop cut and uh, with the wheel key we can we can increase the numbers of loop cuts and place it over here we'll go to the object mode by clicking the tab key we'll repeat the process again we'll go here select the rig control p automatic weight now if we go in uh, in a pause mode we'll select this and you can see that our cube is now behaving a little bit better than before so that is just a basic but the for, for the sake of understanding uh, what we'll do we'll go for object mode again click the shift a click click another key from here and add the u sphere and bring it here and i'll increase the length a little bit like that and i'll add one cube shift a and the cube press the s key scale it on an x-axis scale down a little bit with the size and we'll bring it over here and bring it over here even we can scale it on x and on x axis a little bit more before duplicating it on the another side we'll just go to the tab press the tab key press ctrl r increase the loop cuts and press the tab key again go to edit mode select the uh, select the head of our bone press the extrude keys lock it on x axis and bring it up a little bit somewhere here and uh, so extrude it again l by locking it on x axis again again and again and one more time that bone, bone is uh, extra 
that is the extra one so we can delete it by pressing the S, uh, X key we'll select the bones press the X key and delete the bones and now we'll have uh, rig over here we'll just select this uh, sphere and select the armature press the control A automatic weight and this uh, select this one and select uh, the armature again repeat the process automatic weight now if we go for animation we'll select this one and go to pose mode select this one and we can animate it like that and bring it over here i'll press ctrl z before the ending will will animate it by going to the animation tab we have camera over here and the dope sheet which will which have all the record of our keyframe we'll zoom out a little bit on over here uh, the benefit of having a rig is we can animate any single bond at any time like we can animate it first like uh, put the keyframe on all the bones by selecting the a key and select the i and put the keyframe on the location rotation scale so we'll have keyframe on all the bones we'll go to uh, 30 frame select the bone and bring it over here and select i location rotation scale now you can see that the animation is already recorded same goes for the another one we'll bring it over here and select the i key location rotation scale so that is very very basic level animation in the next tutorial we'll dive little bit more inside the bones drop sheet and the graph editor and much much more basic about the animation so Stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe being animator YouTube channel.